In front of a new Memorial Stadium record 85,831 attendance, Nebraska hosts its first true test team of the season, Virginia Tech. Everyone knew special teams would play a major role in Saturday night's game, and boy did it ever. Virginia Tech recorded a safety five and a half minutes into the game and took four kickoff returns for 94 yards. On top of that, the Hokies managed 63 return yards on just three punt returns. Three minutes after the safety, Tech's Victor Harris intercepted a Gans pass, which set up an easy Virginia Tech touchdown that only needed six yards. Nebraska responded three minutes later on a 32-yard touchdown pass from Gans to Mike McNeil. Scoring after that was put to the feet of the kickers. Tech stuck four field goals through the uprights before getting another TD on the board. Nebraska was able to sneak in a new career long for Alex Henry, a 48-yard field goal of their own. That made the score 21 to 10 in favor of the Hokies, and as they added another score from running back Darren Evans, Virginia Tech went up 28 to 10, and it wasn't looking good for the Huskers. They needed a boost, and they got just that from running back Roy Halo Jr. on a 12-yard touchdown run and an 88-yard punt return from Nate Swift. The new score was 28 to 23, and momentum heavily swinging towards the Huskers. But with 2:28 left in the game, Tech quarterback Tyrod Taylor rushed up the middle for a two-yard touchdown. Nebraska responded to that score less than a minute later to make the score 35 to 30. After holding the Hokies, Nebraska earned one more chance to drive for a score and win the game with time running out, but on a long pass over the middle, receiver Todd Peterson took a hit and coughed up the ball. Virginia Tech needed just one snap to run out the time. Virginia Tech gets the win 35 to 30. Not much on the ground for the Huskers as they netted just 55 yards on 25 carries that included all three primary running backs and Gans. However, Gans did manage 278 yards through the air on a 17 of 26 effort. Virginia Tech's Tyrod Taylor led the way for the Hokies with 171 yards passing and a game-high 87 yards rushing, and running back Darren Evans, not far behind, had 72 on the ground to go along with two TDs. After game comments from the Huskers are as follows. I told our guys, it's over. There's nothing we can do about this. It's over. We lost the football game. We, it's time to go back to work. we got to come back in here tomorrow with attitude to get better. Um, and I told them, I said, what do you, you, my approach and our approach as a staff and as a football team can't change whether you win or you lose. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. you got to stay focused. I, I've said it a lot, and I'll say it again. you got to stay focused on the process of getting better every day. We, gotta, we made a lot of mistakes out there. I mean, a ton of mistakes. And uh, we got to get them fixed so we become better as a football team and keep progressing. And uh, um, I knew going into this game, we're a work in progress. We're not the finished product yet. And, um, and you never are as a football team with a group of kids at this age, this early in the season. Um, but it, it doesn't change. So it really doesn't change what we need to do. Uh, win, lose, draw. We still got a heck of a football team coming in here to play us next week. And we got to be ready to do it, go. We didn't play well enough to win the football game against a pretty quality, talented football team. You know, you have to play good. You have to play. We needed to play better. We had a crowd on our side. And um, it's not about emotion. It's about execution. It's about fundamentals and doing your job. And we didn't do that. We, you know, we had too many breakdowns. And, uh, and you're not going to beat a good football team like that. That's the facts. You know, I'm proud of the guys. Uh, you know, I'm proud of the way they kept fighting. I mean, that's all you can ask for in a situation like that. You know, we just didn't play well enough to win the game. You know, Virginia Tech made, you know, more plays than we did. And, uh, you know, I knew the turnovers were going to come. And, you know, that one pick I threw ended up being, uh, you know, the turning point in the game. So, uh, you know, it, it sucks. You know, I feel like I let the guys down. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's just we get another week to go out and correct it and fix it. And, you know, we got a big game coming up. So, uh, you know, just forget about Virginia Tech as soon as, you know, we can. And, uh, you know, just go on to start preparing for Missouri. Uh, you know, Coach Brown always preaches to, uh, you know, not fair catch it and, uh, you know, trust that your guys are going to block those guys. And, uh, you know, I, I trusted them, trusted them every game. And, uh, you know, I kind of had to make a guy miss there. The first uh, gunner was coming down. But, uh, you know, other than that, I think the guys blocked great and, uh, you know, gave me a good lane uh, to the touchdown. For the Grand Island Independent, this is Denton Cushing reporting.